set up the bed in the living room last night because it's the first hotel we've had in a very long time with a big TV. Worth it. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Finally made out of bed. That edit took us a lot longer than we thought, so it's mm -hmm. now the afternoon and not the morning anymore. All right, what are we doing today? Okay, so now with whatever sunlight we have left, we're going to explore Izmir, because we are leaving tomorrow. Um, so I think the main plan is just to walk along the water and see uh, what we find. There's some supposed to be some really cool stuff a little bit south of here mm -hmm. that we can walk to. Uh, the things that Izmir is known for, we've actually learned that Izmir is not, I think it's a very well-known city, but it's not necessarily a super touristy city, so mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. Ten seconds later, it turns out it is super touristy, because we had two different ladies approach us selling us those roses that uh, I fell for in Italy a year ago, so I've definitely learned my lesson since then. <laughs> This is a very beautiful clock tower. It's how old? 120 years old. In 2016, uh, it was vandalized during a coup attempt. And two for scale. Oh, so many pigeons. We're staying in the shade here, it's very hot. And there she is. There's Tia. It's not that tall, but it is very, very beautiful. I just disturbed some guy's lunch. <laughs> it did me so weird. Also behind us, there's this beautiful mosque, mm -hmm. and it was just playing music. Okay, so what's next? Um, I think there's a bazaar really close. It's supposed to be really beautiful, and I'm hungry, so I think they sell food. Trying some food? Yep. Yeah. Nope. We found the bazaar. Or it found us, I don't know. It it's definitely very busy. got super busy all of a sudden. Wow. It kind of reminds me of the Medinas in Morocco. Mm -hmm. There's these tarps that cover the top so it stays nice and cool. The mm -hmm. buildings are really, really tall. And uh, there's mostly a focus on like herbs and spices, uh -huh. clothing and jewelry. Most of the markets that we'd see in Thailand or all over Asia mm -hmm. would be like counterfeit clothing but also a lot of food and there's a little bit of food here but it's mostly those other things. I mean we'll find the food, don't worry. This is so cool though. It looks like it just goes on and on. Are you okay? <laughs> no, yeah, they, they were waving. <laughs> selling fish. He saw that I was taking pictures and videos and he got really excited and wanted to show me everything he was selling 
and got like I don't know, just really happy and wanted like to talk and stuff. So it kind of like made me see like, every country that we go to kind of interacts with us differently because of our camera. So it just seems like we're getting a positive reception here. It's kind of nice. We just got some fresh squeezed pomegranate juice. Ooh, that is tart. Oh wow, that's super tart. <laughs> but it was a dollar twenty something. Dollar ten. Dollar ten, not bad. We're gonna try and find food. I think we're getting, it's starting to smell like food, so I think we're getting close to the food area. And I know we said this place is huge, but I don't think we even realized how huge this place is. It just goes and goes and goes. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it easily gives Chachu Chak in Bangkok a run for its money. This place is massive. We finally found food. It was down this really narrow alleyway and the kindest man gestured us in and <laughs> we had a point to which meat we wanted and chicken seemed like a safe bet because you know, like I said before, I just don't like veal. So we got chicken kebab, pita bread, some kind of salad and coke. This looks like a good meal. It looks like there's some kind of red sauce on it. Holy moly. Usually when we've eaten kebab, it's been shaved off a big block of meat that's been rotating on a spit. But he put individual chunks of chicken and then cooked it, and it is so tender. And there's this charred kind of taste to it. Oh, this is delicious. And we get bread. Oh my gosh. This place feels like a little oasis in the bazaar. It's really, really neat. And the owner is just ridiculously friendly. Doesn't speak any English at all. The only Turkish word we kind of know how to say is thank you. So it we basically mimed our way to some food. But I was looking up reviews of this place as we were waiting for our food, and a lot of people said it has the best chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best chicken in all of Turkey. So I'm going to actually eat it in the bread like I'm pretty sure you're supposed to. Sorry. We're gonna put some of the salad in it, which maybe is incorrect, maybe it's not. There's onions, there's a green leafy thing. There's so much. It's like a DIY Turkish taco. All right. That is amazingly delicious. The chicken is like so tender, I honestly question if it's cooked all the way. It's so, so tender. It's just perfectly cooked. Oh yeah, this is, yep. Okay, this place, Olizvel mm -hmm. Cafe and Bar. Excellent, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's the best grilled chicken I've ever had in my life. And the whole thing, we got chicken and a salad, two Cokes and two teas, all came out to just around $9. Yeah, the place was fantastic. The owner is a really nice guy. So uh, if you've come to Izmir, definitely give that place a shot. All right, the sun is getting ready to set, and there's supposed to be a pretty cool uh, sunset spot around here with a free, and it's free, so we're gonna go check that out. First, we gotta find our way out of here. We've been wandering around for about 15 minutes, keep getting turned around. The, uh, the satellite doesn't work super well in here, like navigation. <laughs> I see trees. I think we're out. <laughs> this is a pretty good view. We just rode that elevator from the lower part of the city to the upper part of the city. Apparently some guy uh, in the early 1900s mm -hmm. built it because he was tired of having to walk up the hill every day. I mean, totally get it. It's a really nice elevator. It played nice old uh, like 1920s French music yeah. when you're in there. Yeah. Nice. But this sunset, look at this. Tia. Yes. Thoughts on Turkey so far? We've been here for like a couple days. <laughs> Honestly, it's 
blowing me away. I just love it here. It's not what I expected either. It's, I don't know, it's tough to describe. It does really feel like east meets west. Yeah. And but like in the best way. It's really, I don't know, it is tough to describe, but it's really cool. And the people are so nice. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of France, Thailand, and Morocco all at the same time a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, anyways, thanks you guys for coming with us today, and we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! Get yourself a boyfriend who will move a mattress at midnight so that you can watch movies on the big screen TV. Chibio's taking a time lapse, but he must look super weird as one passing by. We're in it now. Down, I think, a super narrow alley. No. And there's like this charred feeling. Come on. <laughs> They're so steep. They're not that steep. You got it.